why do you feel you need to say something to me? Are you my brother? <laughs> what men want from us? Because I think we give them everything they want, food, sex, that's it. What for town? You know they look proper, make you come, I go find you some two-door jack. Welcome to Bed Bedroom Diaries of a Black Woman. Sorry, I couldn't talk, because this one is giving me stress. Look all right. Ever since then times we had to do for sight, but since the day we are look your But I wanna come back to something you said. You said David Lammy had done his best to David Lammy didn't do his best. Fair I've enough. grown up here. He's our MP. Mm. He's supposed to be for Tottenham because he's won and he's there because people from Tottenham voted for him. Yeah. I don't feel that he did a lot. Bedroom diaries of a black woman. Every Monday, 7 p.m. on Break London TV. You are in love with your Destiny for Community ITV. Today we interview a special lady. Her name is Benny Bansu. Benny Bansu does everything. When I say everything, everything. She's a TV producer. She's a TV presenter. Okay, Benny Bansu, can you tell us how you started in this business? Um, I, don't, I don't really know because I actually started as a teacher. Um, and then from then I decided to take a career change. Um, went straight into business. Mm -hmm. Started producing, started presenting, uh, started a clothing line. Yeah, it was just by chance, really, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Can you also tell us about the Hoops Care that you're an ambassador of? Hoops Care International is a charity based in Ghana and Cape Coast that works with young people, not just boys, but also girls, especially young teen moms who've given birth and who are losing their kids to malaria as well. And also boys using basketball to educate them about HIV, AIDS, so on and so forth. It's a special charity which I've been an ambassador for since 2011. Um, and you know, I just carry on doing the work, just, just raise the profile of what you're doing and try and help them as much as possible. Yeah. You're also a fashion designer. Can you tell a lot or can you say that the fashion designer industry over here is different from Africa or the US or Europe? The fashion industry in, Ga in London is very, very different. It's very unique, very retro, very different. But the kind of line, the kind of business I'm in is African design. So Afro I call it Afro-Brit because obviously my background, my heritage is African, but I also grew up here. So I am British. Um, we, we own Enrique Alden, couture design line, amazing designs. Not, I'm not just saying it because um, we own it, but it's aimed at, a, you know, women that inspire, you know, aspire to be more than they, they are now. Um, but the fashion industry here is tough. Mm -hmm. You have to be really good to break through it. If you're not, and if you think it's, it's for little people, don't bother, it's really hard. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, what kind of advice can you give to the young black women that want to get into the industry? I'll say go for it. Don't listen to what people have to say to you, because a lot of people will discourage you from trying to do it. But I think if you want to do it and your mind is set on it, do it. Go for it. Do you have any events that's coming up, any charity events, any clothing line that's coming up that you want people to know about? We're launching Enrique Alden on the 17th of May in Canary Wolves, um, the Marriott Hotel. That's going to be amazing because we're, fun we're raising the money for the charity back home. Um, we also have Fashion Mist that's coming out on the 26th of May. You um, must be excited about that. Yeah, that is, is amazing because it has amazing designers from all over the world showcasing and Enrique is going to be one of them there this year. So we're really excited about that. And obviously the Olympics, so who's not excited about that? <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> I am, I'm super excited, so yeah. Yeah. Well, congratulations for everything that you've done. I want to thank you for kicking it with Community ITV. It's your girl, Destiny.